I'm Sam Clark with Crimson Education, and we're here at Imperial College to ask some big questions. All right, uh, what is the best thing about Imperial? Well, there are so many activities, I think, so many um, societies and stuff you can do around it. The entire vibe of the community here, I think here are like many brilliant people and you really like benefit from that. And also the lecturers and the guest speakers is all like very high quality. Uh, the best thing about Imperial is that you keep meeting, meeting new people who you can have really interesting discussions with. And um, yeah, I just love it. So in my hall, I don't know, we start talking about the the origin of the universe, we start talking about God or connection between God and quantum physics and that's what's pretty cool over a quick lunch. I think the environment, the academic environment. I love that it's in London, so you have the connections, the weather, the place, like it's such an awesome city, so I think it's one of the best things. They teach you things that you are interested in, so you get option modules and you get to pick out of those and pick the ones that you actually do have an interest in studying. And uh, what's the worst thing about Imperial? The toilets seem to be quite broken. <laughs> <laughs> broken toilets, okay, got it. Uh, the food, maybe not the Imperial, but sure. the country. Yeah. Just, just in general around yeah. here. Yeah. Right. So London earlier was a good thing, but it's also a bad thing because it's actually quite expensive. Again, because we're in the center of London. Uh, I can't tell. I <laughs> can't tell yet, okay. <laughs> that's, that's probably a good thing. I actually like thought was was the central library. So they did a lot of construction there right uh, like before that term and it was um, they also had some issues with the air condition and now they uh, refurbished everything so it's much nicer but still like compared to other universities uh, I think they could do a better job. And what do you typically do on weekends here? Uh, weekends are actually pretty chill. Normally you do things during the week. Uh, I mean, you can, like, if you go to societies, like, walk out, like, if you're, like, in sports societies, then you usually have training. Or well, maybe go around London, do some sports, or walk a bit. Um, I'm all over London, basically, so, like, I always, like, head to different districts of London, like, there's so much stuff to explore. Or I also do, like, uh, day trips to, like, maybe, I'm, I'm planning on going to Brighton now, or, or like, see other places like Oxford or Cambridge as well. I'd like to say I have a social life and stuff but no I mainly just I have a lot of work to get done in, at the start so I try to get that done and then go out and you know, socialize that kind of thing. Uh, maybe a house party or if you decided to go to a club or just chill at home. Oh and also study obviously. <laughs> oh. And study and study. <laughs> okay perfect. So yeah study obviously. <laughs> And after I got like all the trainings with the societies, so like I will say this mostly and partings. Uh, what did you write your uh, application essay or, or personal statement about? Yeah, I mentioned what I want to achieve and what I hope from this university. Uh, why I wanted to join Imperial uh, as a as a uni? Why the specific course? And what were my ambitions that I wanted like out of the course? And also what I would like contribute to the course. I wrote about how I, how I love numbers basically and how numbers fascinate me and how I like to, I don't know, explore patterns or find, I'm not sure what I wrote about, it's, it's a while ago, but symmetries in nature or something like that. I wrote it mainly about my motivation as to why I wanted to study at, why I wanted to study at Imperial. Um, and then I just briefly glossed over like Th examples of things that I've done that kind of add to what I was saying. Oh, um, mine was about uh, uh, pacemakers, so implanted pacemakers. I, I, I studied biomedical engineering, so yeah, that's it. Yeah, I do exactly the same thing, uh, but I did it about respirocytes, which are like, it's a concept, it's not really done yet, it's, they're working on it. It's a tiny particle where you can like transport oxygen in that particle. It'd be like 100 times more efficient than red blood cells, and you could potentially just have a lot of oxygen without actually needing to breathe, which obviously for many things could be like really useful. Um, anything to add? Um, not really, no. I love it here. <laughs> that's a good, that's a, yeah, yeah that's a good final message. Yeah, I would recommend yeah. it to everyone. That's right, perfect. Thank you guys so much. Have a good one. Yeah, cause I say, yeah, cause I say.
If you like this video and want to learn more about top colleges around the world, don't forget to subscribe. Subscribe. Do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. Check out Gus's mutton chops. Please, please. <laughs> They're very nice.